Welcome to Jason Live. My name is Haley Nelson, and we are back with our STEM career series where we learn about technology, engineering. <laughs> we learned about, oh, I was I was just saying I, I had was going to mix this up in my mouth. We are back with our STEM career series where we learn about careers in science, technology, engineering, and math from role models in those fields. And today's role model is Jamila Cohen Weidman. And Jamila, she works for Dell. She is a global employee engagement lead where she creates opportunities for Dell team members to give back and volunteer. That means she's making sure that Dell, the company, is doing good deeds. And we're going to learn all about our STEM role model and more when we connect with Jamila in just a moment. But first, I want to remind you that today's event is live and interactive. So if you're joining us from the Jason Learning website, there is a box right below this video window where you can ask any question you like, or you can send us a tweet at hashtag Jason Live. All right. We'll do our best to get as many of you involved as possible. So keep an ear out for your name and your question. Right now, it's time to say hello to Jamila. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Wonderful. I am so glad to, to see you today. Welcome. Um, we're going to just start with the basics today. So what do you do as a global employee engagement lead? So um, as you stated, my role and responsibility includes getting Dell team members across the globe involved in the communities where they work and live. So I create opportunities with local charities for team members to volunteer and get involved. Wow, that sounds like a really satisfying kind of work to do. Um, when So as an engagement lead, how do you make connections with, uh, how do you make the connections between employees and their communities? So I work with our team members to understand what really resonates with them. What are the things they're passionate about, whether it's puppies or computers or children. Um, I talk with them, get engaged, and then get out in the community and learn about what's available and which charities need volunteers. And I'm trying to think, Dell is a very large company. So how many people are you working with to do with on a, on a, on a weekly or daily basis? So on a weekly or daily basis, it really varies, but we have 138,000 team members. So lots of people across the globe to work with. Wow. And are, is everybody who you work with, do you select certain people or does everyone at the company get uh, this opportunity? So everyone has the opportunity to volunteer, um, but it's up to them. You choose whether you want to participate, um, and so they make that decision. Oh, wow. So what is a typical day like for you? So a typical day for me in this role um, consists of lots of meetings. So it's talking with our team members, um, again, trying to understand what's important to them, what's happening in their communities, um, as well as meetings with uh, local charities. And then from day to day, it depends, but I get to go out and do a lot of volunteer work as well. So that's pretty exciting. Oh, wow. We have a question that's come in. What is your academic and career background that led you to this position, and what do you enjoy about it? So um, my background is actually in criminal justice. I went to school uh, when I was a, a kid. I thought I'm going to be an attorney, and I had my mindset on it. Um, so I went to school or college um, to study criminal justice. And along the way, I had to work my way through college to be able to afford to stay there. And um, I started working on computer help desks. So answering phones um, for people who had questions about computers they had purchased. Um, and I started learning more and more about technology. And that led me into the tech field. OK. I was not expecting that answer at <laughs> all. <laughs> well, that's such a great story that you almost happened upon it. And did you immediately know that this was something that you liked to do? Um, it took a little while to get used to. Um, back when I was in college, there weren't a lot of um, young women or girls who were 
learning about computers. Um, there were not a lot of computer classes. And so um, I really, as you said, happened upon it and learned about it as I went along and then started getting more and more interested in, in it. We have another question that's come in. What was it about the tech field that kept you interested? Um, I believe the, the primary thing that's kept me interested is the fact that it's always changing. It's pretty exciting, as you guys know. Um, there's always new technology, um, new gadgets, and different tools and ways to use them. Um, so that's really kept my interest, just constantly learning new things. And what kind of gadgets or tools do you use um, either in your job or that you find particularly fascinating? So I love to take pictures. Um, so anything uh, that gives me the opportunity to snap some photos, um, I, I take advantage of from cell phones to um, you know different online tools, things like that. Um, but we have a lot of different really interesting technology at Dell. Um, from different types of laptops with touch screens that you can kind of flip and they're two-in-ones and so lots of things that keep my interest. Are there lots of things that you can't tell us about because they're brand new and they're cutting edge? There's some of those as well. I knew it's it. Look out, they're coming. <laughs> okay. um, we have another qu in question. It's um, what is employee engagement and why is it important? So um, employee engagement is basically um, a company's commitment to give back um, in the communities where their team, team members live and work. And so basically what it consists of is um, volunteerism. It's um, volunteerism, whether it's hands-on volunteering, so getting out and helping out a local food bank in your community, um, or volunteering at a local school. Um, tutoring or working in an after-school program or even sometimes just helping with um, an organization like Habitat for Humanity, so helping to build a home for someone who's um, underprivileged and maybe cannot afford to be in the home. Um, but that's really what it consists of. There's some other ways that um, we allow our team members to give back and so that could be financially as well. People um, donate money to different charities that they are interested in. Um, but our primary focus is on getting our team members out and active in the community and volunteering. It seems like you kind of have a feel-good job. I mean, your job is to, to do good things and help other people enable them to do good things for others. Yes, it's pretty exciting and fulfilling day, day to day. We have another question from JM. What if we have a project that we would like some help with? Can we share our project idea with you to see if you can find Dell members that are interested in participating? Yes, absolutely. That is one of the things that we love to do. Our team members are always looking for ways to um, help out our students across the globe. And so whether it's a technology project or um, an environmental project or maybe just even a school research project, we would love to get involved. Well, I think you're going to have some people reaching out to you after after this program then. Exactly. Um, another question has come in. You mentioned projects with puppies. We love puppies. Tell us more. Yes. Yeah, so um, as I said, our team members have the freedom to volunteer with organizations um, that are important to them. So if you are passionate about animal rescue, then we encourage you to get involved with your local animal rescue or humane society. Um, and we will get you connected if you don't know how to get connected with them. Um, we have a, a internal tool where you can sign up and create an event and get other team members to um, come out and volunteer with you. Um, so, yep, we like puppies too. <laughs> <laughs> so, with all this wonderful stuff, what is your favorite part of your job? Um, the, my favorite part of my job is really combining the technology aspect of Dell with the employee engagement. So um, as I said, there's a number of ways that we volunteer, um, but I love to see when we're volunteering, teaching students um, how to use technology or showing them um, different ways to get into a technology field. 
from a career perspective. So we get lots of questions about, you know, how did you get into this field? What's coding all about? Or what's an engineer? Um, so when our team members get to come out and teach people about that, it's pretty exciting. Or like this, like what you're doing right now. <laughs> exactly. Engaging all of us. It's quite wonderful. Um, we have another question. What is the strangest volunteer request you've ever gotten? Oh, I don't know about the strangest, um, but I can tell you that we just had a uh, huge volunteer event uh, globally where we were focusing on ocean plastics. So removing as much of the plastics from our waterways as possible. Um, and we did this around Earth Day last month. So we had teams across the globe out getting plastics out of local creeks, rivers, um, the ocean, whatever they lived near. Um, and I've got some pretty cool pictures of crazy things that people found in the water. So um, that one was, was pretty crazy and some unexpected items that people have dumped into our waterways. Well, where could people go if they wanted to see some of these efforts and uh, see what you've done? Do you have a website that yeah. uh, they can look at? Yeah, so you can actually go to uh, Dell.com Ocean Plastics, I believe it is, and you'll actually see um, some of the work that we're doing in that space. How very cool. A global project for Earth Day. That's wonderful. Um, I had another question um, about how you decide which of those efforts to back. Because it seems like if you have uh, so many employees, are, are, does it seem like there are themes that go through and you end up having a lot of people wanting to volunteer for the same things? Or do you have to do a lot of picking and choosing? So um, again, our team members can pretty much volunteer wherever they choose. However, at the company level, we do have uh, quarterly themes. So that way we have some things that we kind of organize ourselves around and focus in on. Mm -hmm. um, so for Q1, our focus was uh, the Earth Focus. So that included Earth Day and our huge ocean plastics initiative. Um, for our second quarter, we're focusing on social innovation. So um, really new and inventive ways to use technology and to solve uh, social concerns as well as entrepreneurship. So we focus heavily on entrepreneurs. Um, as some of you may or may not know, Michael Dell, who started our company, um, was an entrepreneur and started the company while he was in college. Um, so that's something that's a part of our culture and that we really focus in on. And uh, for Q3, we're focusing on education. So we will be doing lots of volunteering in local schools uh, where our team members work and live. And then uh, finally for Q4, we just focus on general volunteerism. It's around the holidays and lots of people have uh, traditional groups that they like to volunteer with, like Toys for Tots and things like that. Wonderful. It's, it's really nice that there is such an organized effort to volunteer and that you're the head of that. <laughs> with that, I have a couple of questions. What make you personally a good fit for this role? How did you learn about it? And another one, what did it take to transition into this job? Good questions. So, like, like an interview. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, my background is in technology, um, as I said a little bit earlier. So, for the past uh, 10 years, 10 plus years, I've been working in the technology space, um, hands on with technology, helping our customers who purchase our technology learn how to use it and assisting them when things aren't working. Um, so um, I'm actually based in Atlanta and we have a Dell population here, uh, but we do not have a Dell facility. So I've always been passionate about volunteering and getting engaged in the community. And I've spent lots of time uh, pulling the Dell community here together to volunteer and get involved. So I was already doing some of this work before I was in this role and before it was my actual job. Um, so that's really how I got started. And then I learned about the position um, through a senior leader within my company. So one of the things that's very important for all of you to do is to uh, make sure that you network with other people and that you um, connect with great mentors. It's a good way to learn about opportunities and things that um, 
may be available to you from a career perspective or even as you move forward in your education. Um, and so I had a great mentor and my mentor told me about some other opportunities within Dell and um, this was one of them. So that's how I learned about it. Wow. So you, I mean, it came from something that you were already drawn to in the first place. So yes. that's wonderful that through a connection, you were able to find something that was a perfect fit. Exactly. We have a, another question. What kinds of things did you learn in school, middle or high school, that you apply in your job now? So um, in school, I learned lots about teamwork. And that is critical in my job now and has been in all of the roles that I've been in. So whether it was in the classroom doing group activities or research projects or just out, you know, at recess playing in teams or when you're in PE and you have to be a part of a team and sometimes you don't want to and there's disagreements, but you learn how to work together um, because everybody wants to win. Um, so all of those skills um, in terms of working in teams have been extremely beneficial as well as uh, communication. So as many of you are experiencing now or will, um, you have to be able to stand up in front of your class and speak at times um, or get up in front of a, a large room of uh, people and give a speech or teach a lesson or something to that effect. Um, and so that prepared me to be able to speak to customers and to speak to um, other people within my company. So communication, teamwork, um, those were some really key skills that I learned in school. So when you first started answering tech questions over the phone, were you nervous about that at all? I mean, because you had the knowledge, but, you know, talking to real people over on the phone and hearing their real concerns, what was that like? Yes, so I was very nervous because um, I was learning as I went along. So I was kind of getting training as I, uh, training on the job, basically. Um, but yes, I, it was very scary because you never knew what you were going to get on the other end of the phone. So sometimes people were very angry because their product wasn't working. Um, and then sometimes you had people who just uh, were kind of clueless. So you had to be <laughs> patient and walk them through every step of a, a particular process to get uh, on the computer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it, was, it was very scary, but the more I did it, the more comfortable I became with it. And um, it turned out to be a great learning experience. Wonderful. I just remember that feeling when I was younger of, of talking to people I didn't know on the phone. And that was a big, that was a big hurdle. Um, we have another question that says, okay, I don't write the questions, I just say the questions. Do you have to be a super nerd to work at a tech company? No, absolutely not. But it's a good question because it's an assumption that lots of people make. Um, now, we do have people who are super techie, um, and that's just their thing, but there's lots of us who are not nerds and we enjoy it, um, and there's different skills that different personalities and different types of people bring to technology companies. So they are always looking for all different types of people, not just people who are completely focused on technology and um, you know, really only into that. All right, well we have a question about C++. Why did you take C++ if you were pursuing a law career when you were in college? Did it help to have that experience when you started at Dell? Yes. So I actually took that class after I started working on um, a help desk. So I was already starting to learn about technology just based on the questions people were calling in with. And um, C++ continued to come up, and I didn't really know anything about it. Um, and I was in college, had the opportunity to take some um, just general courses and saw that there was a C++ course and I took it. I was the only uh, girl in the class. It was a little intimidating um, and it wasn't easy, but I did take it and it has helped me uh, because as I deal with different people and customers who talked about programming, I could understand maybe not every detail of what they were talking about, but I could relate it back to when I actually took a programming class and um, you know, I had a better understanding of what they were either being challenged with or had questions about. 
Uh, and for, for the students out there who might not know what C++ is, that if they think it might be like almost a B, it's not. Can you tell them what it is? Sure. Um, C++ is it's a programming language. And so um, years ago, it was a very popular programming language. There's lots of new languages that are easier to learn and easier to um, manipulate and create programs with. But it was one of the early computer programming languages. Still, still pretty cool, you know. Like you have that the start in C plus plus. I have to say that's pretty cool. Um, we have another question. What is it? Oh, hey, this goes right into what you were just saying. What is it like being a woman in a technology career? Have you had to overcome any hurdles to succeed? Yes, absolutely. Um, so our goal in this field, or at least my goal and many other women in technology, is to increase the number of women in technology. Um, but it has been a challenge at times. Um, it's definitely getting better. When I first started in this field, um, you know, there were lots of times where I was the only woman in the room or um, the only woman who was a, a part of a discussion or conversation or decisions being made. Um, so sometimes, you know, that doesn't feel so good or it's a little intimidating, um, but it's also a good opportunity. So it's, it's really been great. And one of the things I'm passionate about, as I was saying, is getting more women into the technology. So I partner with organizations like Women in Technology, and we teach young women um, about STEM careers, uh, science, technology, engineering, and math. And we encourage them to get into the tech field. Wonderful. And we have another question. Oh, is it awesome working from home? <laughs> yes, that is a definite added bonus. Um, I have lots of peers who work in an office space, and I do go into different Dell offices around the country from time to time. Um, so I know what it's like, and I've had to work in an office before, but I love working from home. No complaints. Do, do you get to go out into the field quite a bit and see where some of your Dell population, your employees, are doing their work? I mean, as far as your, the volunteer work? Yes. Yep. So I. I do travel to other uh, cities and states and even countries, um, and I meet with team members there where they actually work in Dell facilities, and then also partner with them to do volunteerism in their communities. Wow. We have another question that has come in. Who were your role models growing up, and what did you admire about those role models? So. Um, I didn't necessarily have specific people that were my role models. I more so looked up to um, general people in terms of things they were doing. So for example, as I said, I wanted to be an attorney. Um, when I was young, I went to a young lawyers camp and I actually got to see what attorneys did and you know their careers. And, and so that was sort of a role model figure for me. Um, and that's why it was something I aspired to be. And so it's one of the reasons I think it's really important to um, expose young people such as yourselves to uh, STEM careers, because sometimes if you don't see it or hear about it, you don't know it's even an actual possibility or that there's a job out there like that um, or something that you can accomplish. Absolutely. Another question. Hmm. Does your cat help you with your work? <laughs> so I don't have a cat. I do have a dog, um, but I don't have a cat. And um, my, my dog stays pretty close when I'm at home working. He likes, likes to sit by my desk. So. Oh, what kind of dog do you have, just out of curiosity? He is a mix between a Shih Tzu and a Poodle. Oh, okay. Very cute. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's let's shift and talk a little bit about your, your past. Uh, have you always liked science? Um, I've always been interested in it. I never liked math, but science was interesting to me. I just, um, you know, didn't get too deep into it. And we have a question coming in. What advice would you give to kids who are interested in doing what you do? Um, so I would say... Um, a couple of different things. One, definitely take advantage of opportunities to um, volunteer in your community and get involved. Um, if there's nothing out there that 
um, you're excited about or you're interested in, you can create your own uh, volunteer opportunity. If you if there's a need in your community that you think you can help address or fix, um, go for it. You know, get some of your friends, parents, whomever um, to work with you, and I say go for it. Get involved. Um, from a technology aspect, I'd say take advantage of um, you know, the local programs that are available to you. And even if there aren't any locally, there's tons of programs online where you can just dabble in learning how to code, um, learning about um, engineering, or even pursuing math. Um, there's lots of online content that you can try out for free. And then there's also lots of programs out there where you could go to a STEM camp uh, for a week or a weekend. Um, there's hackathons. There's just lots of technology related activities, um, even robotics clubs. Just try things out because you don't know what you're actually going to like until you give it a try. All right. We have another question wondering, how do we contact you to talk about ideas? Um, so I can make my contact information um, available, but um, I'm, you can reach me through my email. It's uh, Jamila. J A M I L A dot C O W A N at Dell dot com. I'm also on LinkedIn, um, so you can find me there. Um, but please feel free to reach out. I would love to hear from you. Wonderful. Do a lot of companies have these kinds of volunteer programs, or is this a, a unique program? Lots of companies do have um, these, this type of program. Um, it's growing. Um, and so as you know, we move along in the years to come, you'll see more and more companies have it. Um, but there are a lot of companies out there who have this type of programming. And we do collaborate with other companies and share best practice. Wonderful. You have, I'm sure that helps getting a lot more accomplished. Yes. What is the best day you've ever had at work and why? Ooh, I like this one. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, to think about that one. Well, I guess I would say if it's at work, um, I had an opportunity to um, meet Michael Dell about um, maybe two years ago now, a year or two ago. Um, but that was amazing because obviously he's Michael Dell and he <laughs> started the company. Um, but it wasn't just that I got to meet him. He was actually coming to um, a um, employee resource group fair. So we have what we call employee resource groups inside of our company. Um, there are different groups that focus on different themes. and. Um, I was at this fair and I was working at a table um, for our employee resource group for women. And he came by and he took time to talk to every single person who was volunteering. And so I just thought that that was really um, important and said a lot about him. And it was great. He was just very laid back and he talked up to me about where I lived and what I was working on. And it, it was a great day. Wow. wow. And, and in that, in that particular group, group we're talking about, about uh, that, that all, had all, all to do with, with um, women in your field, what are some of the things that that are discussed or that you do to help each other in that in that group? So, um, within our uh, company, this group is called um, Women in Action. And basically, we talk about ways to help get other women into technology. Um, we talk about how to help each other progress in our careers within Dell. And then we also come together and do volunteer activities, as well as professional development. And when I say professional development, um, we bring in speakers, we um, facilitate classes so that we're all constantly learning. Wonderful. I love that kind of support within groups within a company. That's wonderful. We have another question. Where is the coolest place you have traveled and why did you go there? Okay. Yeah, so the coolest place that I have traveled is Penang, Malaysia. Um, when I was working uh, more in the technical side of uh, my career, I was supporting one of our largest customers, which was ExxonMobil, and they have um, oil companies all around the world. And so I went to Malaysia to work with some of their team members, and there was a Dell office um, 
in an area of Malaysia that's called Penang. And I went there uh, to visit with team members. And I mean, it was beautiful. It's like something that you'd see in a movie or um, in pictures just with the water. And it was amazing. It was really amazing. Wow. Well, we're going to have we're going to have to talk a little bit after this interview um, because we are planning as Jason to go there and, and report some science from Penang Hill. Oh, wow. So we're going to have to, we'll talk after we get the questions from the kids. And unfortunately, we have time for one more question. Um, this is a big one. What are your plans for the future and, and what are your personal goals? Yeah, so um, I've only been in this new role, the employee engagement role, for a matter of months. Uh, so my plans include, um, obviously, getting uh, to learn this role a little bit more, um, getting connected with our team members, and just really helping Dell to make a significant impact on the world. Um, and then for my personal goals, um, just to get some more travel in. I love to travel. So I'd love to uh, get out and visit some more places that I haven't been to. Well, unfortunately, we are all out of time. And thank you so much, Jamila, for coming and sharing your story. Our next live event will feature STEM role model David Panatin on May 18th, and we'll get to ask David all about what it's like to be a manufacturing technician. Until then, from Jason Learning, I'm Haley Nelson, and we'll see you next time on Jason Live.